Praise the Lord, everybody. Pastor Nick here with another devotion from the book of Psalm. So glad that you can join me this morning and every morning at 7 a.m. Uh, please do me a favor and like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't done so already, uh, please hit that share button, whether on YouTube or on Facebook, and let people know that we are on this morning. Of course, if you can, follow me on all my platforms. Uh, information's right at the bottom of the screen on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, you can follow me at any time. I uh, appreciate you all for joining us on this journey. Thank you for all the comments, um, for chatting with you guys every single morning. If you're new to the journey, welcome. Uh, of course, you can go back and watch all of them if, at, at your leisure if you can. Watch some in the morning, watch some in the evening, just to catch up as we seek to help motivate your morning, give you a jump start, and uh, trust God that the Word of God and prayer is encouraging you. So, um, we're starting Psalm chapter 33 today, and we're going to look at verses 1 through 3 um, this morning. It says, Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous. Praise befits the upright. God is telling us to rejoice, all right? O righteous, that if we are the righteousness of God, if we are saved, if we're believers, that, right, that rejoicing should be a common practice for a believer. Now, I'm not, I don't know about you. Oftentimes, uh, our negativity gets in the way of our ability to rejoice and to be cheerful. We see what's wrong with everything and struggle to see what's right. But God wants to position us by faith through his word and through relationship to rejoice in the Lord, as Paul says in Philippians 4, always, and again, I say rejoice. Because why? Praise is befits. Praise is appropriate for the upright, which means that God um, sees our praise and sees our rejoicing as an appropriate expression for those of us who are upright. God is worthy to be praised. If you're watching this in the morning, um, give God praise right now. For some of you like me, you're not a morning person. So you have to train yourself to thank God, to rejoice. Because sometimes the first thing we think of, oh, I got to get up. Oh, I got to go to work. I woke up too early this morning. But rejoice and thank God that you're still in the land of the living. During this pandemic, if there's one thing we should appreciate, it's life, health, and strength. Life, health, and strength but also give us compassion for those who are struggling with this virus and those who are going through hard times. It's time right now to rejoice because it is befitting. It is appropriate for those who are upright. And he says in verse number two, praise the Lord with lyre, make melody to him with harp of 10 strings, sing to him new songs, play skillfully on the strings with loud shouts. So remember, this is a congregational type thing. So they're saying worship God in singing, worship God in instruments, that those of you who play an instrument, that is your worship unto the Lord, that playing for God is not a gig, but playing for God is worship. And he tells us to sing to him, to rejoice through song that watch this through the course of your day, sing to the Lord. I tell our young people all the time, put some Jesus music in your playlist. Um, because the reality is, is that God wants us to sing to him. God wants to hear your voice. And you may not have uh, a good singing voice, but God loves to hear the sound of your voice. While you're in the car, uh, while you're in the shower, you know, those shower singers, you know, sing to him. Because why? It's appropriate for us to rejoice. So this morning, today, I want to encourage you to focus on living a day of rejoicing that make rejoicing, make worshiping God, make singing, make praising him a part of your routine. Something I've been uh, practicing over the past week or some change, when I don't feel like doing something, I remind myself, this is worship to God. That me doing what I'm supposed to do is an act of worship. Paul says in uh, Colossians chapter three, everything you do, do it for the glory of God. Everything we do is supposed to be 
for his glory, his worship, and his praise. So while you're getting up to go to work, thank you I have a job. You're taking care of the kids. You may not feel like getting up to cook, but thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to take care of them. May not feel like paying the bills, but I rejoice that I have the money to pay the bills. Give God worship. Give God praise because God is worthy of it. And today our prayer is going to be focused on rejoicing in the Lord, praising him, thanking him and giving him the worship that he deserves. Today, make a conscious effort to choose to rejoice. Come on, let's pray. Father, I thank you for this moment. I appreciate you for this time. I thank you for this opportunity that you've given to us to come to you through your son with the power of the spirit to be able to come to you in prayer. I give you praise today for all of your goodness, all of your mercy, all of your kindness. Thank you, Lord for reminding us to live a life of rejoicing. Not a life that ignores the bad, but a life that learns to rejoice even in the bad. A life that learns to praise you even when all the struggles of life are real. And Father, I give you praise for that. I give you glory today. We worship you in the beauty of your holiness because praise and rejoicing are appropriate for us, your righteous people. Because after all, Lord, you deserve all of it. You deserve all of our praise. You deserve all of our glory. You deserve everything in us. You deserve our mouths to be open. You deserve a song because, God, you are so good. And as an act of appreciation, we take time to worship. And we make a commitment this morning to live a life with rejoicing, a life with worship. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all. So glad you can join me again uh, this morning at 7 a.m. And every morning at 7 a.m. Uh, follow me on my platforms. Of course, follow the church, BBC of NJ. Uh, follow Bishop at David G. Evans 1. Say God bless you. God keep you. And we'll talk to you soon.